What up, what up? Wimboys here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can get custom motion capture from the XN suits into Character Creator 4 with a Mixamo rig. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, I'm on Sketchfab. I like bringing in characters from Fortnite just because I like those characters in general. So it's really easy to get free characters if you want to follow along with this demonstration. So I'm on Sketchfab right now. All you have to do is type in Fortnite, hit enter, and then right here where it says downloadable, I'm actually going to be using the snake eye model here but if you just scroll down you can see we have a whole plethora of different fortnite models that we could download like i've used this one in a past tutorial as well but then if you want to know how to bring this character in the mixer mode to rig it up i'm not going to do it in this video because i've already done it in a previous video and i'll leave this link down below for you guys as well but i'll walk you through the steps of bringing it into your 3d application stripping the skeleton out bring it in a mixamo and then you'll be good to go and then for the next part of this video i'm not going to go through doing the whole motion capture thing again because i'm actually going to be using the motion capture data that i did in this particular tutorial where i took the iron man fortnite character brought him into unreal engine 5 using my xn suit and so i'm going to take that same exact motion data and bring it into character creator 4 like so so i'll leave all these links down below in case you guys want to see how i brought over the character from sketchfab into mixamo and also my steps for recording the motion capture using my xn suit and so for the actual tutorial right now i have character creator 4 opened up and what i'm going to do is take the t pose that i got from mixamo dragging into character creator 4 and then i'm going to bring in the motion capture data like so so i'm going to go down to file explorer like so and i have this folder so right here i have the t pose that i got from mixamo and then i also have my motion capture data and so first i'm going to bring in my character i'm just going to left click and drag it into character creator and then right here we're going to have a window pop up this is import fbx i'm going to click on character and this is important right here we want to use humanoid non-standard this is the one that we want to use if we're bringing in the mixamo rig so from here i'm just going to click apply and then it's going to bring up this character profile I'm just going to use this one right here. It should automatically recognize it. It's going to say Mixamo underscore CC XX character. There is another one that says default character or motion builder, but we want to use this top one up above. So I'm going to click OK. So now I have my character inside a character creator. And if you want to test it out to make sure the rig and everything is rigged up properly, if you come down here to the bottom right where it says motion, if I click on this little button, it's going to give us a couple of different options here. So let's say I want to do pose. I'm going to click on this and then I'm just going to click on play. And you can see the character, you know, we have some collision here. You can actually fix that in iClone if you want, but I'm just doing this as a test to make sure that my rig and everything came through. So it looks like everything came through like so. So I'm going to come down here to the lower right hand corner where it says remove. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to hit all and it's going to bring it back in the T pose. Now to bring our XNs data in, it's as easy as how we just did it. We want to make sure we have our character selected and then I'm just going to click and drag the FBX data in the character creator like so. So I'm going to come back down to File Explorer and this is my XNs motion capture data right here. And the most important thing is we want to make the layman convention as simple as possible. If you just export out the default where it has like auto numbers and underscores and stuff like that, it doesn't like that inside a character creator. So I would suggest going back and renaming it something super simple so that it's going to bring it in. So I'm just going to left click, drag this into here. And this is going to be the most important part right here. So where it says motion import settings right here where it says motion builder. I want to come right here, but I don't want to select this one this time. I want to select the default character. This is something that I figured out when I'm using my XNs data. I want to use the one that says default character so everything comes in and aligns perfectly well. So I'm going to select this one right here. And then I'm just going to click convert all. So now if I click play, now you can see I have my XNs data inside of character creator 4. And the cool thing is, so let's say that I want to come over and repose this a little bit because sometimes with mixamo skeletal rigs you'll get like some weird stuff happening with the thumb there like i was using my xn suit with the manis glove so i have manis finger tracking and everything in here and i noticed with mixamo rigs we get some weird stuff going on with the thumb here so if you wanted to actually edit this out we can actually come over here to pose offset and then we could just select that bone right there and if i come right here i can select rotate and we could easily rotate this how we need it to be so everything's aligned up and so when i go back and click play it should keep everything in check so let's see what happens whenever he goes to that pose now you see my thumb movement went exactly how i want it to be and everything is fine 
And so for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you guys the proper way of bringing in XSense data in the Character Creator 4. Now, hopefully this helped you guys out. I know whenever I went to the Real Illusion YouTube channel, somebody had a question on how to bring in their XSense data in the Character Creator 4. It took me a little bit to figure out, but it was simple once I finally did. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below leave me a big thumbs up it helps with the algorithm and make sure you subscribe to the channel because i will be doing a follow-up video on how we could take this exact data into iClone and do some motion capture cleanup so until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here